I love what I do. I love my craft, man. I love what I do. I don't do it for the lights, I don't do it for the cameras, I don't do it for the money. I love playing the game, man. I've never ever lost that. The younger version of myself, I, I wish I could take how I see the game now and give it to me back then. I, mean, I gotta say, that there's something about not having perspective that gives you such a killer edge, man. And being 21 years old, 22 years old, not having perspective of like, you need to appreciate winning championships. You know, you need to appreciate like where you are. There's something about not having that perspective that just makes you an absolute stone cold killer. We have a championship caliber team. We are going to reach our full potential and you're not gonna mess it up. So either get in line or get the hell out. So that mentality is something that's a throwback, man. And um, I think that I just inherited that from Mr. Jordan being one of my muses, and that was my personality. So, you know, here I am. Kobe's trying to steal his knowledge. I grew up admiring this guy, you know what I mean? And like, I studied so much from him. It's weird to look up and, and to be here. I feel like I'm carrying on his legacy by passing him because I learned so much from him. He is in hot pursuit for Jordan in terms of the all-time score. It's so much resiliency that has to, you have to find within yourself. 36 years old, man, and had a knee fracture and had a ruptured Achilles tendon that's it's been known to end careers. You have moments of those periods where you just really doubt whether or not you're gonna be able to get through this thing, man. You have to somewhere find resiliency just to keep going, man, and it's, uh, you know, it's tough.